because this lady right here is the one who knows what she's talking about. I'll tell you what, she is going to help us get ready for fall week. This is Noel Johnson. She is the AZ plant lady. Yes. And welcome to Sonoran Living Live. Well, thank Live. you. I'm so thrilled to be here. Well, you know what? I'm excited to have you because I had no idea. I mean, it's really hard. We're getting out of the summer and mm -hmm. I, I know that I, and I'm sure a lot of other people, lost a lot of plants because yes. of the heat. So, you know what? We want to plant something that's going to bring us some color and some life. And that's Absolutely. strictly what you're talking about today, those fall plants. Absolutely. With color. With color. Okay. Fall is the best time of year to plant. And I have the, no idea. Yeah, the reason is it ha, um, the plants have a long time to grow a healthy root system, which is what they need to handle the stress of the following summer. Okay, that so, makes a lot of sense. Yes, October, best time. November's also very good. Okay. Technically, you can plant all year long, but this is the best time <laughs> this to is get the it best done. Time. Yes. All right, good to know. Well, let's pull out a couple of plants yes. here that are that are favorites Let of yours. Let me show you some things. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is called Desert Ruelia. Now, Desert Ruelia, um, it flowers off and on all year which is a positive. Ah. And it's a nice substitute for the Texas sage, which you frequently see in the landscape. It doesn't grow quite as tall. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful plant. Prune it one year or less. All these plants can be pruned one year or less. Okay, and is now a good time to prune? Each plant's kind of If we've different. already got our plants yeah. Generally, established. Generally, the biggest time of pruning is in early March, okay. when the threat of frost is over. Okay. okay. Um, but I do have guidelines on easyplantlady.com about all of these plants and when to prune them. Okay, and excellent. How much. So excellent. that's a really great one. All right. Um, I was particularly excited yes. about this one, although you said it doesn't look like much right this now. This isn't its best season. Okay. Now, this is called Valentine, and Valentine, my most favorite shrub, it is absolutely covered in red blooms starting in January and lasting through April. Ooh. There's not a whole lot else blooming in the landscape right then. So it that's is frost tolerant. It's not going to frost over. It has. It's a beautiful green, evergreen shrub the whole rest of the year. Absolutely fabulous. You prune it once after it's done flowering, and you're done. And you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Now I know you brought along. Um, let's take a look at. And I want to. I'm, I'm going to say just say the names, and then you kind of tell me sure. about this flower. We have. Absolutely. It's called a red fairy duster. Red it's fairy gorgeous. duster. It is absolutely gorgeous. Red fairy duster is actually a native desert shrub, produces these little, they look like feather duster flowers. Hummingbirds love them. Mm -hmm. Flowers um, spring through fall. Okay. All and right. that's a very easy one to grow. The regal mist. Regal mist is an ornamental grass. Very popular. Um, it produces these beautiful burgundy plumes in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, you cut them back in winter and then you have this nice green Grass Ooh, the I rest like of the it. year. I oh, like it. It looks like very low maintenance. It is. What's an Angelita daisy? Angelita daisies are fabulous little powerhouse. They're not lantanas. No. They look like it. Yeah, though, they kind are of. tiny little yellow flowers. They flower all year long. They get no frost damage and they look fabulous when planted in groups of three or five next to boulders. Oh, hey, that's a great idea. Yes. Oh, I don't even know. What is that? Oh, no, firecracker. Firecracker is the next one. Firecracker oh, pen yeah, like those. those are fabulous. They start blooming in late winter. Last through the spring, hummingbirds can't get enough of the flowers. Oh, and now I love hummingbirds. Yes, you do. Okay, what's that? That's called Dominita. Dominita. Dominita is a wonderful green ground cover. They are covered in masses of golden yellow flowers Ooh. in spring and again in fall. Now these are so beautiful and they bright. They really are. And then last but not least, you call this a gopher plant? Gopher plant. That's actually, I have one here. Oh, okay. Not in flower. But that one's in bloom. That's in bloom. Little it yellows. It's in the spring. Okay. Um, it's a really fun succulent and it Let's does that really well. Look at this. Look it's at that. a really nice one. You know, and let me ask you something um, because uh, clearly we see two different sizes of yes. plant containers. Mm -hmm. How do you know which size? I often, you know, I mean, we all want, you know, yes. not to spend as much money as we can, but to plant something like this would seriously be cheaper, but it's not always a good idea. It's not. Um, most desert plants you can get by with the one gallon. The smaller plant is, the more easily it transplants. Oh. And generally, within a year, year and a half, the difference between a one gallon and a five gallon in the ground, they're the same size. Really? Yes. They really are because so you can save a little bit of money by the one gallon. Plants take off once they get in the ground with their roots. Well, I just learned a whole <laughs> bunch of stuff today. Oh my gosh, Noel! I mean, you have a blog, so people can follow you on your blog, yes. and you offer up all kinds of tips and information. Lots of advice. Gardening in the desert isn't easy, isn't hard. 
if you know the right way. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And and these uh, one quick question too. Mm -hmm. um, low water maintenance. These on are all these? drought tolerant. Okay. All drought tolerant and adapted to our climate. Okay. Wow, you did it all for us. You picked the plants. You there have you a list go. of all the plants on your blog, and and, and don't forget about the herbs. The herbs. Little, herbs are very herb easy to grow there. as well in pots outdoors. Okay, I love it. Noelle, thank you so much. You're welcome. Great thank tips you for having me. No, thank you for being here. And it is that time. So I don't know, Susan. If it, I'm going to hang on to my notes just in case <laughs> you didn't take yours, yes. because I want you to be successful. 